Good morning, kindergarten. It is Wonderful Wednesday. I hope that you had a terrific Tuesday and um, hope you're working on your letter U's, our last letter of the alphabet. Can you believe that we've learned all our letters? Wow, kindergarten. And U is that special kind of letter. What do we call those letters that make two sounds? That's right, a vowel. Good job, kindergarten. Hey, are you guys ready to pray with me? Let's pray. Now before I run to play, let me not forget to pray. To God who kept me through the night and woke me with the morning light. Help me, Lord, to love thee more than I've ever loved before. In my work and in my play, be thou with me through the day. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this wonderful Wednesday. Thank you for all the kindergartners that I'm blessed to be their teacher. Thank you for Mrs. Cabanera and Miss Lisa. Just, and we're just so grateful for all of our blessings. Please continue to take care of kindergarten and their families. Miss Kathmere and her family, and Miss Lisa and her family. Amen. Amen. Okay, kindergarten, let's see what's in our Bible today. Um, this story is called The Rich Fool. One day, a man asked Jesus for help. My father died, and my brother won't divide his possessions fairly, he said. That's not fair. There is more to life than the things you own, said Jesus. Then he told a story. One harvest farmer gathered a huge crop. He decided to build a massive barn to store it all, all the grain. Do you remember what maybe massive barn was called? Um, maybe a silo, but maybe not. I don't know if they did it here. Now I am rich and I can take life easy, he thought. You fool, said God angrily. Tonight your life will end. You can take and you can and you can take any of this with you when you die. Can you take any of this with you and die? Can you take stuff with you, Kinderen? A person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God and Jesus. That's right, kindergarten. We can't take anything with us when we go. Okay, kindergarten, let's have a look at our devotion today. I just keep love looking at this bookmark that uh, Miss Caponera painted. It's beautiful. Okay, kindergarten, today is Wednesday, May 20th. Wow, we're almost through May kindergarten. Can you believe it? How many? So there's 30 days in May, and we're at 20. So how many days left in May? Or 31 days in May. I apologize, there's 31 days in May. Um, so today's day 20. So if we add 10 more, we'll get to 30, because we know we count by 10s. And then we have to add one more. Did you say 11? Good job, kindergarten. Did you know what it means to doubt? It means that you're not sure if something is true or not. You can go back and forth, just like the waves of the sea go up and down. But with God, you never have any doubt about anything. God cannot lie. So we can believe everything that he says in the Bible. People who doubt God get mixed up. Don't doubt what God says. Believe it. Do not doubt God. Anyone who dotes is like a wave in the sea. The wind blows them up and down. James 1 6. Dear Lord, I will never doubt you, for every word you say is true. You definitely can never to never doubt how much God loves you. That's one thing you should never ever doubt, because God loves you so much. Okay, kindergarten. Let's see how many days we've been learning together for. Okay. Did anyone try that pancake trick? If you cut it 17 times, you get 154 pieces. So there's a town in Canada named Wolseley, number 155. That's the name of it. Like, I, like I live in West Harrison. Some of you live in White Plains, right? Some of you live in Hawthorne, right? Um, Scarsdale. Where else do you guys live? New Rochelle. Harrison, Eastchester, Ellie June lives in Connecticut. I think she lives, is going to live in Greenwich. Um, most of you guys live in, oh, Regan lives in um, Valhalla. Yeah. Right? Those are the names of your towns, right? Well, this one's called Holesley, number 155. It has a number in the name of it. Oh. Tomorrow is a good fact too, kindergarten. We'll get to that tomorrow. Okay. Let's 
Okay, kindergarten, let's take a look at our sight words real quick, okay? Um, before we look at our sight words, though, I would like to tell you, Charlie, you sent me a very long list of review words, Charlie B. Um, some of the words that were super impressive was undertow. Wow, undertow. Do you guys know what an undertow is? When we're talking the ocean, the undertow like, pulls, you, pulls you under. Um, Ken, that's why we're being safe. Um, an Uber. Do you guys know what Uber is? Uber is like a taxi you can take, right? It's called an Uber. And Uggs. Hmm. I know you guys know what Uggs are. I know that um, Elodie wore Uggs this year. Who else wore Uggs? Regan, did you wear Uggs? Ellie June. Ellie June, did you wear Uggs? Mary, I'm not sure. But I know. I definitely know that Elodie wore Uggs this year. They're like a pair of boots. They're like soft and free on the inside. So thanks for sending your words, Charlie. Um, we have some sight words, our new sight words. Did anyone write a sentence with the word big in it? B ig. How about the word? What's this word kindergarten? Down. D down. Right? Down. Kindergarten. We are so close to learning 50 words. And I know I added the color words in, but they've been on our, our word wall all year. So and I am pretty sure that you guys are really good at reading your color words. Um, okay, kindergarten. Um we are going to practice our songs, okay? Um, so the first thing we're going to start with is the poem, Do You Remember? Right? So we start with our hand on our shoulder. Ready? Do you remember way last fall when I was only just this tall? Now look at me. I'm up to here. In my eye, I've learned a lot this year. In fact, you think I'm rather great. That's why I get to graduate. Wow, kindergarten, we're going to do that together, okay? Um, yeah, we're going to do that together. You want to try it one more time? Okay, here we go. Get it on your shoulder, right? Because we're trying to pretend that we were shorter in the fall, which you guys were shorter, ready? Maybe you may not see class below but you guys were shorter, and you guys grew. Ready? Do you remember way last fall when I was only just this tall? Now look at me. I'm up to here. And my I've learned a lot this year. In fact, you think I'm really great. That's why I get to graduate. Oh, kindergarten, I love that one. Okay. Now we're gonna do I've been going to Ridgeway Kindergarten. And it's to the tune of um Oh wow, Mrs. Castle, I forget. Um to the tune of um uh Dinah wants to blow. Okay, ready? Um how did that go? I've been, I've been working on the railroad. Wow, Mrs. Castellano forgot. Okay, ready? <clears throat> uh, I've been going to Ridgewood Kindergarten. One, two, three. I've been going to Ridgeway Kindergarten all the whole year long. <clears throat> I've been going to Ridgeway Kindergarten and I learned a lot of songs. I can count and say my letter sounds. I know my sight words too. I've been going to Ridgeway Kindergarten all the whole year through. Ready? Graduation day, graduation day, graduation day is finally here. Graduation day, graduation day, graduation day is finally here. Yay! And so our graduation right now, right now, because it might change, is scheduled for June 19th at 10.30 in the morning. Okay? And we're just going to come to the school, and it's going to be different. You guys are going to stay in your cars in the parking lot, and and then when it's your turn, you can come out. We'll call your name, and you can walk up the red carpet, and you can get your graduation bag, and we'll all clap for you. All right, come away, come away. I'll give, I'll give you my virtual hugs, the hugs from a distance. Okay, Mrs. Castellano's bucket might be full. It might leave your eyeballs because she's so proud of you. And um, Miss Castellan is going to read you a story. We're going to sing some songs. And we're going to have fun together, kindergarten. Okay? Okay. And we're also going to do This Little Light is Mine. Okay? So you guys know that song already. But let's give it a go. Let me see your lights. Ready? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, 
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Ready? I'm gonna take my light around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna take my light around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna take my light around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I won't let anyone get out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Ready? Every day, every day, I'm gonna let my little light shine. Okay, kindergarten, never let anyone blow your light out, right? Because you are perfect. Ready? I wanna show you something. Because I want to show you this. Look at this, Kinderin. You see this? This is our butterfly net. Can you see on the back wall here? Those are the, those are our caterpillars. They're in chrysalis. We're gonna learn about the life cycle of a of a butterfly next week, Kindergarten. But they're in there. They'll be in there for like two weeks, Kindergarten. Okay? Okay, Kindergarten. Mrs. Castellano has a new book for you today. It is called, do you guys know what this is? Do you guys know what this is? Have you ever seen one of these? Mm, it's called The Legend of a Sand Dollar. Have you guys ever found a sand dollar before? Okay. Some people like to read this book around Easter. Mrs. Castellano likes to read it now. The Legend of the Sand Dollar. Can't Mom and Dad take us to the beach? Carrie sniffed. It's only two days, whispered Margaret, and they'll come and get us on Easter morning. That's why. So she looks pretty sad, huh? But what a beautiful illustration. It's illustrated by Rick Johnson. Carrie tried not to cry. Every few years, her family went to Aunt Jane's house near the beach. I'll just think about playing with Cousin Jack, she told herself. I'll just think about the ocean. But her tears still fell as the bus took them further and further away from their mom and dad. So maybe their mom and dad have to work, right? And so they're going, they're going with their Aunt Jane. Early the next morning at Aunt Jane's, Carrie went out to look at the boats in the river. Carrie still missed her parents. Soon she heard a and the engine coming towards her from upstream. Cousin Jack! Look. You see Cousin Jack? That looks like a pretty nice place to spend Easter, huh? Carrie! Jack hollered. What do you think about my new boat? It's not very big, she yelled back. Then it's perfect for you. He took her hand as she climbed aboard. I wonder what this story has to do with sand dollars. Now that I, I'm reading it, I'm, I'm wondering. The river opened the, to the wide bay. Hang on, Jack yelled. Suddenly, the ocean lay before them. As broad as the sky, a small island appeared in the distance. Waves lapped against the shore as Jack boat beached the boat. What's this, Carrie called up, holding up a round object. That's a sand dollar, Jack answered. A sand dollar, Carrie cried. This isn't money. Right, said Jack. It's a starfish that used to live in the ocean. How did it get here? Carrie asked. When the tide goes out, it leaves sand dollars behind, Jack said. Why are they called dollars? she asked. Real dollars used to be round, said Jack, and they were made of silver. But sand dollars have value, too. Then I guess we're rich, Carrie teased. 
In a way, he answered, the sand dollar tells a story, the greatest story of all. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Can you see the Easter lilies? I'm going to try to hold it like this while I read it to you from here. Can you see the Easter lilies on the side? See the Easter lily on this side? So on the sand, this is the bottom of a sandal and this is the top. It's like a trumpet saying, Jesus is alive. Now look at the middle of the lily. There is a star from the east that led the, led the wise men to Christ. We remember Jesus' birth on the other side too. See the Christmas flower? Oh, I'm sorry, the Easter lily's here. The Christmas flower is over here. In the middle, the star of the east. Both sides of the sand dollar tell the Easter story. See all four nail holes and the fifth hole is made by a spear. These remind us that Jesus died for us. Sand, the legend of sand dollar has to do with Jesus' birth and a, a resurrection. Now hold out your hand, said Jack, and watch carefully. He broke open the sand dollar and five white shapes fluttered down. See the doves? This is new life, the promise of Easter. And Jesus lived, lives again. So can we. And these doves remind us to spread his promise and hope to all people. Kindergarten, have you ever broken open a sand dollar? Because there is dove shapes inside. No, you see those? Oh no, Carrie cried, we dropped them. Jack wasn't worried. The high tide will leave more over and over, and I have a whole bucket full at home. As the tide rushed ashore again, Jack held, helped Carrie back into the boat. Push it off the beach, and jump inside. The boat crested the top of each wave, hung in the air, and then swooped down like a ride on a roller coaster. But all the way back, Carrie could only think about the sand dollar and how valuable it really was. Mrs. Castellano is wondering where those children's life jackets are. That night, the moon rose across the water. You know what? asked Jack. Your parents aren't that far away. Like the moon and the tide. But the moon is far away from the ocean. They're still connected, Jack explained. The moon's gravity is what pulls the tide. From that far, from that far away, that's how the tide works. Like how God can remind us that he is close too, whispered Carrie, thinking of the sand dollar. The next morning, Carrie put the sand dollar in her sister's hand. Happy Easter, Margaret, she said. Thanks, Carrie, she smiled on us. Do you see the Easter lily? An Easter lily? Yes. And inside there's little doves. I'll tell you the whole story. And as they waited for their parents, Carrie shared the good news with her sister. So Margaret smiled too. And so here, kindergarten, um, I'm just going to read you a couple things that they wrote here. So first thing, I'm going to read you about the sand dollar. Sand dollar is the name of a marine animal that is related to the starfish. Sand dollars have flat, rigid, dish-shaped dish shells made of interlocking plates just beneath their skin. Living sand dollars are fuzzy, brown, and pink. Does a sand dollar look fuzzy brown? Mrs. Castellano is going to include a video so you can learn about starfish. I mean, sand dollars. Um, they burrow in the sand, feeding on small organic particles. Just their skeleton or shell washes up on the beach. Only collect sand dollars that are no longer alive. They are they look like white coins. Sand dollars are the easiest to find at low tide along the edge of the receding water. The sand washes away from the buried shells as the wave goes out, and the next wave covers the sand again. In North America, people who live along the coastline often recite this popular poem about sand dollars. Okay, so now I'm going to read you this popular poem, okay? There's a pretty little legend that I would like to tell of the birth and death of Jesus found in this lowly shell. If you examine closely, 
you will see that you find here four nail holes and a fifth one made by a Roman spear. On one side, the Easter lily, at the center of the star, that appeared upon the shepherds and led them from afar. Christmas poinsettia, fetched on the other side, reminds us of the birthday, our happy Christmas tide. You now break open the center, and here you will release the five doves waiting to spread goodwill and good peace. The simple little symbol Christ left for you and me to help us spread the gospel through all eternity. And the author of that poem is unknown. But um, there's the poem. Kindergarten. I wish I could show you a sand dollar. We could break it open together. But if you find a sand dollar this summer, you go to the beach. If the beaches are open, if you go, um, you find a sand dollar, take a look. See if you can find the hole. See if you can find the poinsettia. If you want to, break it open. I never like to break them open, but I have. I, or even like find a broken one and break it open small. Okay, kindergarten, I'll see you guys later for work time.